Assalamu alaikum guys. Today in this practical video, I will guide you for basic informations related RCC slip, especially for bent up bar or crank bar and the construction of this slip. So let's get start guys. You can see guys, that is one column and that's other column. The span between these two column is 20 feet. Guys, you can see here, main bars and distribution bars. Dia is 12 millimeter for both. Spacing is 6 by 6 inches. Guys, you can see here, at the distance of L by 4, they provided crank bar, which can resist negative bending moment. Guys, you can see, the crank bar is very important to resist negative bending moment. Guys, you can see on both sides, we have crank bar. This is column. Okay. This is center of the column on each side. At the distance of L by 4, you will see crank bar on both directions because this is two-way slave. You can see guys, sometime we can provide extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment, but crank bar is economical compared to extra steel rods. Guys, you can see. The crank bar or bent up bar angle you can keep from 45 to 60 degree. Guys, you can see. The length of crank you can keep with the formula of 0.42D where D is a die of depth of slab or beam. Guys, you can see clearly. If you don't provide crank bar or extra steel rods at the distance of L by 4, so it has more chances of failure at the distance of L by 4. Due to maximum stress. At the mid, we have bending moment, maximum bending moment. At the end of the support to the distance of L by 4, we have negative bending moment or hogging. But at the middle, we have positive bending moment at the middle of the slab or beam. Guys, you can see at the middle, we didn't provide any steel rods, especially if that is crank bar or extra steel rods. Only you will see the crank bar at the dis distance of L by 4 are where you have the column so in that place we can provide crank bar guys also you can see the cantilever beam and next video I will guide you for cantilever beam steel reinforcement in this construction site This is two way slab, so therefore you can see crank bar on both directions. Guys, you can see the middle is empty, only you can see single fish, which dia is for main bars and distribution bars 12 millimeter with the spacing of 150 mm or 6 inches. After completion of steel reinforcement, they will place concrete blocks for concrete cover, which should be between 25 to 40 mm or from 1 to 1.5 inches. Guys, you can see that is boundary beam, so therefore we don't require to provide 
क्रिंक बार दिया as you can see hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video